Today we're reviewing chapter 2-8, Powers and Exponents, to help us get ready for our test that's coming up. So what we're going to do in the first section is write each expression using exponents. And I'm on page 621, and I copied these right out of the book. So when it says write using exponents, you have to have an exponent in your answer. You're not answering the problem or solving the problem. You're just writing it with exponents. So remember, we write the number that we see big as the base, and then we write how many we see as the exponent. Okay, so three is the base. How many are there? Yeah. Two, so two would be our exponent. So that would be the answer to number two. How about number four? How many fours are there? Uh, five. Five fours. That's a little bit confusing. And how many fives are there? Eight. Eight fives. Okay, so write the number you see as the base and how many of them is the exponent. How about number six? What's my first base going to be? B, good. And Bella already answered the exponent part. She said there's four of them. Yep. What is my next base? Six. No, Bella. C. You can do number eight. I think she thought you wanted number eight. You can have all of eight. Okay, so my two bases are the letters that I see, B and C. And then my exponents are how many there are. There's four B's and there's six C's. Okay, Cameron, you're on. There is six A's. Okay, so what is my base? A. A and my exponent? Six. Good. And her B is the base. Uh-huh. Four of them. Four, yes, correct. Good. Yes. All right. Copy these down in your math journal and I'll be right back with some more. Okay. For the next problems, it says evaluate each expression. When it says evaluate, now we have to solve and come up with an answer. So I actually have to find out what 4 to the third power is. 4 times 4 times 4. Good job. So 4 to the third power is like 4 times 4 times 4. So what is 4 times 4 times 4? Yeah, that's what it is. Oh, yeah, that's what it is. Four times four times four. Equals 64. 64. And that is the answer to that one. Now, did you guys see my video? when we were all e-learning and I was trying to show you like how to use the calculator. You remember that? I don't know. What? You owe me Starbucks then. Okay, so I will help you with the exponent on the calculator if you need it, if you're not sure how to use it, okay? All right, so number 14, two to the sixth power. What is two to the sixth power? It's two, two, and then a bunch of six. So there's six twos. Yes, there are six twos, and they're all being multiplied. Or we can just use the exponent function on our calculator. So I put the two in, and then I hit this little, X, look at my screen, girls. You see my little exponent with the X? Yeah. That means I can enter, oops, no, that was the wrong thing. I can enter whatever exponent I want. It's this one right here. X to the n power, and then I hit the 6, because it was to the 6th power, and equals. The question is 64. Yes. Did you answer the question, Bella? You mean on 12? Yeah. 14. Oh, 14. Well, it's all right, 14 also 64. It's Ooh. also 64. Two 64s in a row. Okay. Number 16, we have to do 2 to the 4th power. What is 2 to the 4th power? Put in your calculator. 
2 to the 4th power. I got 16. But then we didn't use this guy right here yet. So we have to bring this 3 down. And it still needs to be multiplied by the 16. It's um, 48. 3 times 16, good, is 48. All right, so the ones that are coming up now, there's like a little bit of an extra step because you have to find the exponent value and then you have to also multiply it by something else. So number 18, what is five to the third power? Five to the third power is 125. 125, good. And what is one to the ninth power? One to the ninth power is nine. Careful. One. It's just one, because it's like saying one times one times one times one times one times one times one. Okay. Anytime you multiply one by one, it's just going to equal one. The answer is 125. And the answer is 125, because anything times one is itself. Good. That, that one, I feel like they throw it in there to, to trick you, keep you on your toes, you know? Okay, how about the last one? I'm gonna bring I'm gonna bring this two down because it doesn't have an exponent. What is three to the second power? Wait, you said Bella was doing it. Oh yeah, I can do that. Yeah. Ah. It's 9. And then what is 4 to the second power? 4 would probably be 8. Remember, you're doing 4 times itself. Oh, yeah. 16. 16. Good. Now, what do we have to do? We need 2 times 9. 2 times 9, nine times, 16. times 16. So what is 2 times 9? Times 16. Wait, 18 times 16 is 64? No, it was 288. Sorry, 128. Or 288. Or 288. Oh my goodness. <laughs> it's 288, yes. That was the trickiest problem of the day. Last three problems for this section. So listen, when I have a negative exponent, I have to do something special before I can solve it. Does anybody remember what I have to do? negative exponent. This is a weird one. When I have a negative exponent, I have to turn it into a fraction with a 1 on top. Once you push that exponent down below, the negative goes away. So now I have a new problem that's 1 over 2 to the fourth power. So I'm going to keep the 1 on top always a 1 on top for this negative exponent. And then what is 2 to the 4th power, girls? 2 to the 4th power. 2 to the 4th power. 8. It's like 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. 8. Times 2. 16. It's 16. Listen, it's not just 2 times 2, it's 2 times, or 2 times 4. It's 2 times itself 4 times. So it's 16. So the answer to this one would be a fraction of 1 over 16. This is on the test. Please remember, negative exponent, you put a 1 on top and make a fraction out of it, okay? What's the test again? Monday. Bella, did you write this one down? Bella is on a coffee break. It's hot. It's coffee break. It's coffee. It's coffee. Okay, so let's keep going. What do I do with number 27? Think, Cameron, think about what we just did with 26. What do I do for number 27? 5 or 1 over 5 to the second power. Good. 
make it a fraction with a one on top. Now I can solve the bottom, keep the one on top. What is five to the second power? Good. 25. Okay. So negative exponent, your answer is going to be a fraction with a 1 on top. And number 28. Does anybody remember what happens when you have an exponent of 0? Okay, those are both good guesses. Cameron, sit still in the chair. I'm going to have to give you a new chair. Um, if I have a zero exponent, nobody? Anybody? This is a weird rule. Is it negative? Nope. Nothing negative. It's multiplied. No, it's zero negative. Yes. Just try something. Bella remembered. Anytime you have a zero exponent, it equals one. Even if you have like 5,246,000 to the zero power, it equals one. Zero power equals one, okay? Wow, that was good remembering, Bella. All right. That's all for today. So copy all of these in your math journal and... I'll see you next time.